In today's video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to make your text glow with vibrant neon colors. Let's dive right in. First, go to File and choose New. Set the width to 3840 and height to 2160. Choose the background color as black, then click Create. Now pick the text tool and type your text. You can download the font I'm using from the link in the description. Adjust the position of the text to center it in your workspace. Create a new layer by clicking the New Layer icon. Select the Rectangular Marquee tool. Draw a rectangle and press Ctrl plus Delete to fill it. Select both layers, text and rectangle, and press Ctrl plus E to merge them into one. Rename this layer to Sign. Next, I'll place a texture on this sign. You can download the texture from the link in the description. Press Ctrl plus T to transform and resize the texture to fit the entire canvas. Hold Alt and click between the texture and sign layer to create a clipping mask so the texture only applies to the sign. To adjust the look, go to Adjustment Layers and select Levels. Hold Alt and clip this layer to the texture as well. Drag the white output level to around 60 for a more subtle effect. Select the sign layer. Go to Effects and choose Stroke. Reset settings to default, then change fill type to pattern. Select this pattern. Increase the scale to 1000%. Set opacity to 70% and size to 1 pixel. Make sure the position is set to inside. Click the top layer and create a new layer. Rename it Neon. Hold the Control key and click the Sign layer to select it. Go to Select, Modify, Contract and set the value to 12. Click OK. Then go to Select, Modify, Smooth and type 8. Click OK. Now go to Edit, Stroke. Set the width to 2 pixels and choose white for the color. Click OK. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. With the neon layer selected, go to Effects and choose Stroke. Reset to default. Set position to Outside. and size to 5 pixels. Choose a light blue color. Add outer glow, reset to default, and set blend mode to linear dodge. Increase opacity to 100%, change the color to blue, and set spread to 20% with size to 30 pixels. Now add a drop shadow. Reset to default. Set blend mode to linear dodge and change the color to blue. Set opacity to 100%. Distance to 0, spread to 10, and size to 200 pixels.
add a layer mask to the neon layer and pick the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. Zoom in and create gaps between the neon lights by clicking along the text with the brush. Hold Alt and click on the layer mask. Press Ctrl plus A to select all, then Ctrl plus C to copy the mask. Exit the mask by clicking on the neon layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste. Now drag this below the neon layer and clip it by holding Alt and clicking between the two layers. Change the blend mode to multiply and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set it to 3 pixels. Duplicate the neon layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Rename this new layer Neon Pink. Hide the original neon layer. Double click on the stroke and change the color to light pink. Adjust the outer glow and drop shadow colors to pink as well. Click on the layer mask of the neon pink layer. Use the Rectangular Marquee tool to make a selection. Then press Alt plus Delete with the foreground color set to black. Now hide the neon pink layer. Now select the neon layer mask and make selection around underline. And press Alt Delete and turn on both layers. To finalize, paste a fog image onto the top layer. Set the blend mode to linear dodge. Go to adjustment layers, choose hue and saturation and clip it to the fog layer. Click Colorize, set Hue to 250, Saturation to 50, and Lightness to negative 75. Lastly, go to Adjustment Layers and choose Levels. Set the black level to 11 and white level to 242. And there you have it, a vibrant neon glow text effect. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Photoshop tips and tricks.
Don't forget to check out the links in the description for the font, texture, and other resources. I'll see you in the next tutorial.